Live from the studios in Atlanta, Eric's basement, it's Stuck with Eric. Stuck with Eric. Starring Eric Gordon. Also, Eric Gordon. You guessed it. Starring Eric Gordon. Oh, man, yes. I'm so glad you're here on this glorious Monday. Why am I so happy that it's Monday? <laughs> it's simple. I love what I do. And if you're not happy that it's Monday, maybe you, that's right, I'm talking to you, should look for another profession because every day is a blessing. This has been your inspirational vitamin from Eric Gordon. Yeah, Frank Ski uses inf it's inspirational. Vi it's an inspirational vitamin. Frank Ski can use it too. It's fine. It's fine. He won't. He won't be mad. I don't even know if he watches this show. With that being said, Al Roker, I'm sure we have beef. <laughs> this is my open monologue of the news. Okay, so we know that this weekend has been extremely eventful, uh, both positive, both negative, and just kind of melancholy all in general. But this is what I'm here for, to make you giggle, smile through the pain, acknowledge it, but to smile and laugh. Why? Because, let's be honest, I'm one of the funniest people you've ever seen on mid-late night television. Dave Chappelle had something very, very important to say. Uh, something so moving, so powerful, that uh, I felt it deep, deep down inside. I'm telling you right now, it's called 846. If you haven't seen it, I implore you, please, please watch it. It is one of the most smartest things I've ever seen. Take a look at this. I think Candace Owens try to convince white America, don't worry about it, he's a criminal anyway. I don't give a fuck what this nigga did. I don't care what this nigga did. I don't care if he personally kicked Candace Owens in her stinky pussy. I don't know if it stinks, but I imagine it does. And if I ever find out, I'll let you know for sure. I'll tell like Azealia Banks, I'll tell. I don't know how Dave Chappelle can continue to be funny in light of all the extenuating circumstances. I'm glad Don Lemon said something because we may not have gotten this out of Dave Chappelle. In other news, it was Trump's birthday uh, yesterday. I think it was yesterday, right? I mean, I'm not really keeping up, but uh, that guy, man. We decided to post pictures of Barack Obama. In honor of Trump's birthday, allow me to show you a collage of the majestic, amazing, talented, intelligent, Barack Obama and his family. Enjoy. See how I did that? See what happened there? Yeah, that's what it looks like, a real president. God bless you, Barack Obama. It's your favorite segment because it's my favorite segment. It's my favorite segment because it's just my favorite segment. You guys gotta stop asking me why it's my favorite segment. But I'm glad you're sitting here watching. It's nothing better to do. All right, so there's something very interesting going on. You know, entrepreneurs are very, very intense. If you've ever met an entrepreneur who truly believes in their product, you will meet a very intense person. With that being said, here's Maurice talking about how to hang a flat screen. You see me, I weigh 170 pounds. If I can sit on this mountain and not do shit, then you know I'm the man of Mount Talk TV. Stop playing, because it ain't coming off the wall. Hit me up on Instagram at his name, Maurice, or call me, 314-536-1661, and I'm going to mount your motherfucking TV. Wow, Maurice. I believe you, brother. <laughs> and you said you were 170 pounds. I don't know if I would allow you to be in my house sitting on my flat screen television holder thing on the wall. But I, I'm so glad that you're passionate. Um, I looked at the number. It is clearly out of town, but I would, I would seriously consider paying you to fly out here to mount the rest of my televisions because that's a guy who believes in the product. I mean, that guy is amazing. I mean, he's just hanging on the television and with such vigor, such anger. It's motivational anger, not like regular anger. So I think you guys have seen this already. If you haven't, 
and here it is in front of you. There's a graduation going on, and this lady is sitting there, and the narration over it is absolutely hilarious. Please watch this. <laughs> That's Roseanne, little boy right there, ain't it? The one with that big head. <laughs> Child, all of them, the whole family got a big head. Here come my little boy right now. Peanut, you better smile. Ah! Oh, Lord, the chair done broke. Ah. Y'all seen that, didn't it? <laughs> hey, boom, we got action. I'm finna sue these folks. I ain't lying. Peanut, hurry up and get that award so we can go to the hospital. I need to go to the emergency room right now. I think I done, I done broke my neck. I'm finna, no, baby, I'm finna get this money. Oh, uh, the narration is what kills me. The narration is what kills me. I think there was somebody in the background kind of like snickering and laughing. That's not a funny situation. I think she really hurt herself. It must have scared the mess out of those graduates. Oh, the narration. You shouldn't laugh at something like that. All right. Summer's around the corner. People are not letting summer get away from them by any means necessary. I think this lady is perfectly social distancing while enjoying the finer things in life. I want you to look at this and just take it all in. Check it out. <laughs> That's how you live. That's how you live in luxury. See that? See how she was like out there bold with it? Man, I wonder if that guy is the one who actually constructed it. The ingenuity, my people. My people, you, <laughs> my people, you are amazing. Thank you. So, you know, I like to feature things that happen in church because it's just kind of funny to me. Uh, I want you to see what happens when this person hits this high note and then when everybody else tries to come on board with said high note. Please take a look at this and hold your laughter. Why, why, why is this a thing? <laughs> I mean, the note, I mean, play the note again. I mean, he's a hey, I mean, <laughs> and, the crew, and the crew is like, uh, we're going to try. In the name of the Lord, we're going to try. All right, this is my second favorite segment, Wango. We ain't never getting out, and even though the world is clearly open. Everybody is just open. COVID-19, peepers killing peepers. It's just, people don't care anymore. With that being said, join me in my anxiety as I watch Daytona Beach. Check this out. Hey, you got Burger King. Waiting for a couple more units. Hard, hard lock. Stop that. To Beach 75, it looks like that white car, there's two people out the sunroof throwing money. They're clearly throwing cash at the crowd. Traffic's backed up all the way to uh, Driftwood. This is how we're living our lives, people. One large gathering at a time. May the odds forever be in your favor. <laughs> oh, it's oh. Join us as we remember the outside.
That does it for today's episode. And if you have a case of the Mondays, find something that doesn't make Monday feel like Monday to you. I promise you, you'll never worry about it again. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and eat some children's fruit snacks. Why? Because I've earned it. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, America. And you know why. Because there's nothing better to do. Good night. Bam, 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 bam,